So as many of you know by now, billionaire pedophile Jeffrey Epstein was found dead in his cell over the weekend in an apparent suicide. Now, I'm probably the least conspiratorial person ever, but I think that it would be weird to not even think that the circumstances are absolutely suspicious. Now, of course, we don't know the details. It could have very well been a suicide. But when you are a billionaire who's a pedophile who is well connected and may also have evidence or know about the crimes that other powerful well connected people have also committed you know i don't think it's unreasonable to think that the entire situation it, it stinks it's incredibly suspicious but i don't think we can really say anything definitively because again you know we don't know the details yet but what concerns me is whether or not jeffrey epstein's victims will get justice and whether any of the co-conspirators that is people who were friends with jeffrey epstein that also raped children on his disgusting pedo island that they will be brought to justice now at this time it's difficult to say because this is all still very early but let's go ahead and go to an article this is from chelsea j carter of cnn and she talks a little bit about how the victims are responding to his death she writes the alleged victims of accused sex trafficker jeffrey epstein are angry they will not get the opportunity to face in court the men they say raped them as girls we have to live with the scars of his actions for the rest of our lives while he will never face the consequences of the crimes he committed, the pain and trauma he caused so many people. Jennifer Arose, who accused Epstein of raping her when she was 15, said in a statement, The multimillionaire hedge fund manager's death from an apparent suicide Saturday in his cell ends the criminal case against him. But what does that mean for his accuser's quest for justice? Authorities have said they will continue to investigate Epstein's alleged actions and U.S. Attorney General William Barr said Monday the case will continue on against anyone who was complicit with Epstein. At the same time, legal experts say the civil cases against Epstein and anyone connected to the allegations in the case will continue. It is shameful that Epstein will not face justice and the survivors in this case will not have the satisfaction of his conviction. Scott Berkowitz, president of Rain, one of the largest anti-sexual violence organizations in the nation, told CNN. However, reporting has made clear that there were others who aided and abetted Epstein in his crimes, and we hope that the U.S. attorney will continue to pursue those individuals. Epstein's death should not let them off the hook. Two unnamed accusers asked a federal judge to roll back a non-prosecution agreement that Epstein reached in 2008 in Florida, which provided immunity to his alleged co-conspirators, according to a court document filed Monday in U.S. District Court in the Southern District of Florida. Rolling back that agreement would identify the alleged co-conspirators, making it easier for authorities to investigate according to the filing, as well as make it easier for the two accusers to file suit. Now, it's so difficult to put myself in the position of his accusers here because on one hand, it would be incredibly terrifying to face the man who raped you as a child in court. That would be horrifying. But at the same time, you know, that's the best that you can hope for because that's your way of getting justice. That's kind of your way of getting closure. But now they don't get what they were hoping would give them closure. And look, People very close to me in my life, they've shared their experiences with me and the way that they describe it is just, it's so horrifying. Like when you are raped, that person takes something away from you that you feel like you'll never get back. Like they take a piece of you away and there's really no way to ever close that hole. There's nothing you can fill it with, you know, um, oftentimes it leads to people being depressed and having a lot of issues with mental health and even resorting to self-harm but you know what you can hope for is closure in the form of justice and these victims now they don't get to see that in the in the sense that you know he'll be prosecuted so i absolutely feel for them this is horrible but what we can all hope for now is that anyone who was a co-conspirator who aided and abetted this disgusting pedophile will in fact be brought to justice and it's difficult to say how this is going to turn out because William Barr is saying, well, look, here's the deal. We're going to allow this investigation to continue. But at the same time, Jeffrey Epstein was connected very closely to Donald Trump. There are videos of him where they were hanging out before. They go way back. So if this gets too close to the president, will William Barr step in and try to stonewall? 
Who knows? There are also other very powerful people who were connected to Jeffrey Epstein, and we'll get to that in a moment. But in terms of what's going to happen going forward, well, on one hand, Jeffrey Epstein himself can't stonewall investigations, and the FBI does have more freedom to actually, uh, you know, they can dig through his properties, his personal filings, and what have you, and the FBI actually just raided his private island, but on another hand, you know, they can't use Jeffrey Epstein to extract information about other individuals, very powerful, well-connected people. So, I don't know what's going to come about, you know, this whole situation when it's all said and done, but there are very powerful people that absolutely should be investigated on both sides of the political aisle, both sides. Investigate all of them, question them, and if they're guilty, bring them to justice. Again, he hung out with Donald Trump, and Donald Trump indicated that he knew something because he made a remark before about Epstein liking girls that are, you know, much younger than him, or something to that effect. So Trump must know something. Look into Donald Trump. Uh, Bill Clinton, former president, rode on the Lolita Express numerous times. Look into him. Alan Dershowitz helped secure, you know, this sweetheart deal in 2008 with Alexander Costa. And in court, one of Epstein's abusers alleged that Epstein actually ordered them to have sex with Alan Dershowitz. Dershowitz should be investigated. Lawrence Krauss and Steven Pinker hung out with Epstein. Pinker flew on the Lolita Express. I mean, other powerful people connected to Jeffrey Epstein include Kevin Spacey, Larry Summers, Woody Allen, among others. So, I mean, every single person who was associated with Jeffrey Epstein, who rode on the Lolita Express, who went to that island where he was allegedly raping girls, where there were sex slaves, they all need to be questioned at a minimum and investigated. And um, this should not be the end of this investigation. And there are some signs indicating, indicating that it will continue. Either way, you know, this is absolutely disgusting. And the things that Jeffrey Epstein did, the damage that he caused to people's lives, the atrocities that he's committed, you know, these things can never be undone. They can never be undone. But at a minimum... These victims get justice. That's all that we can hope for. That's the best that we can hope for in this case. And part of that process means looking into very powerful, connected people who are associated and were associated with Jeffrey Epstein. And now all of a sudden, you know, people like Donald Trump and Bill Clinton are claiming that they didn't really know him too well. Look, look into them, investigate them, because if they were associated in any way with him, if they were involved in abuse they should be prosecuted and imprisoned for that because it's unacceptable. So, you know, this is, this entire story is just, it's nauseating to think that somebody got away for that long with abusing women, who knows how many, uh, and not women, girls, like children. At the age of 15, you are a child. To think that he got away with that and then he got a sweetheart deal in 2008, I mean, it's, it's disgusting. It is absolutely disgusting, and it's why I have no faith in our justice system anymore. We live in a two-tier justice system where, you know, the poor, they are prosecuted, but the wealthy, they can commit the same type of crimes as poor people, and they get away with it. So, you know, am I hopeful that anything will come of this? No, because our justice system, it rewards powerful people who have money, who are well-connected. But do I still hope that there's some way that these victims can have a little bit of closure? Yeah, of course, I'm hopeful. But let's see how it all plays out. But all I know is um, this is just such a crazy story. And it's like we're watching a movie play out before our very eyes. That's how insane the details are.